Now on BBC World, Rob Bonnet goes behind the scenes with the stars, coaches and power brokers of the sports world in Extra Time. Welcome to Extra Time. The Rugby World Cup is now just a few weeks away and once again at the heart of the tournament will be the New Zealand All Blacks, the perennial favourites. However, my guest today knows just how fragile that preeminent status can be. He became All Black captain aged just 23 and immediately experienced the role's intense scrutiny, never more acutely than at the last World Cup in 1999 when New Zealand were beaten by France in a dramatic semi-final. A snapshot now of one of world sport's most unforgiving roles, that of leading the most famous rugby team in the world. Jane Randall, welcome to Extra Time. You had possibly, I suppose, it's fair to say, the worst start imaginable <laughs> as New Zealand captain. Appointed, what was it, in 1998, aged just 23, and after two victories against an understrength England side, the All Blacks then lost five in a row against Australia and South Africa. The team's worst losing streak, I think, in more than 50 years. Sorry to remind you about all those <laughs> statistics. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, but uh, how did you cope with all that? Um, I, I guess being relatively young and being uh, having a, a sort of a naivety about... Um, the, the... I honestly, it's going to be a clash of styles and it's going to be very, very interesting. That's a fair answer. Tane Randall, thanks very much for joining us on Extra Time. It's Pleasure. much appreciated. Thank you very much.